This is the easiest way to create assets for social media campaigns. In today's tutorial, we're about to make your life a whole lot easier. We're going to create stunning social media posts, stories, and banners from just one simple template. Whether you're looking to promote a service or showcase a product, I'll show you how to customize this template to serve any campaign. You see how quick and easy it is to duplicate and modify the template, saving you your time while maintaining a high level of creativity with high quality designs. So let's do this. Okay, so let's start with this Cheesecake Bakery logo and all we need to do is create some social media campaign assets for this brand. So first thing we want to do is look for a nice template in the library. Uh, I'm going to start with the story template. So let's type, um, let's look for a story on the search bar, look for a nice template. I really liked this one to start with. Of course, we're going to change the colors, but the colors actually caught my attention and I love the fonts and the placement of the elements, which is something we can keep. So I changed the colors and I'm now changing the imagery. Uh, I was looking for some cheesecake images in the image library to mask inside the circle shape, but I was not 100% convinced by it, so I'm going to change that later. I also thought adding the badge logo would totally match this design because it blends like a nice detail, but still there in a very pleasant way. Okay, let's change our text, of course. Uh, we need to match our content, after all. I'm changing our main copy right now to Let's Eat Cake. I love the rectangle box detail, so I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to write cake inside the shape. I think it's an adorable detail, and I love the serif font so much, so I'm just gonna use it throughout the rest of the designs because I think it adds a really cool 80s editorial vibes to it. You know, very vintage, and I'm living for it. Let's be honest, when is retro out of style? Never! Trends are cyclical. I love debating about that, but we're here for the campaign assets. I told you guys I was not convinced by the circle shape in the middle. I even tried a couple different text transformations that you can easily do in the text transformation panel to see if it matched the shape better but i was just not feeling it i just decided to go with a simple headline i changed the image but i thought that having a product shot like a cheesecake image without the background would elevate the visual so i decided to create that with ai of course if you have a real store and you hire a professional photographer to take pictures of your products your cheesecakes or whatever you sell you can upload your images to kittle and use the background remover tool but AI is awesome to quickly illustrate your artworks. Uh, I generated a couple of different cheesecake images that turned out really sick. Remember that if you need to unmask an image, that means take an image outside a shape, just click on the shape and press Command G. And if you want to mask an image, just simply drag your image on top of the shape. That's how easy it is. So now I'm just going to adjust some details and of course change the information below. So for example, there's going to be a menu offer story and I want to showcase different flavors, different cheesecake flavors. So for the flavors, I'm changing the font to something kind of hand-drawn because I'm looking for the, well, hand-drawn menu look, you know, very crafty. Our first asset is done. Okay, now for feed post, I'm going to start with this one by simply resizing the story. So I duplicate the artboard by pressing Alt and I just drag it and change the size and I just reorganize the elements and that's it basically. Now I'm going to create two more posts just to show you that we can create different posts with the same template. So for example, I want to create a post for the New York style flavor. So I duplicate the artboard and change the text and the layout and I generated a couple of cheesecake images with AI again. And you can see the use of skill here because I just wanted to do something different. I love using a skill on my designs because sometimes it makes a two-dimensional art look like a three-dimensional space. Uh, like here, for example, the difference in skill between the cake and the text adds an interesting depth because we just tend to analyze what is closer and what is more distant. Uh, all right, I'm just going to design one more for the posts. All right, so now let's create a banner. This one, it can be a social media banner, email banner, you name it. Resize it to 
whatever size you want. Uh, remember, you can resize it by clicking on the artboard and just changing the dimensions on the right side of the panel. Start by simply doing what I did here and dragging its sides. For this one, let's change the background color to something different. Maybe a gradient, uh, I think that would be interesting. We have all these colors available for us here that we can explore. So let's change the color, but keep the same typography, the same overall aesthetics, because after all, we need to keep a visual consistency throughout the different artworks. That's why choosing a template as a base, it's really awesome for that. It's much easier to just stick to where you need to be and to what your brand needs to say visually. I also generated this cheesecake and it looks super cute with the gradient background we did here. And I think the placement of the logo in the gap between the cheesecake and the headline is a really fun. And we finally have our banner and we have or marketing assets so there you go we just easily created a story three instagram posts and a banner for our brand using one single template so this is it that's how easy it is to customize a template and create totally unique designs for your social media campaign if you want to create your own designs and haven't signed up to kiddo yet Check out the link in the description. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for our latest tips and tricks and design related content. And also don't forget to smash that like button. That means a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.